Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 5 where we are learning a great deal on polynomials. This is episode number 5 and today friends we are going to learn about geometrical meaning of the zero of a polynomial. I should say there should be a zero of a linear polynomial. In the last episode friends we looked at which was episode number 4 we looked at what is the meaning of or geometrical meaning of a linear polynomial. And what we saw at the end of the episode was that when you have a polynomial and if you were to try to express that uh, in geometrical terms, that is when you want to draw that polynomial on the Cartesian plane, you will always get a straight line, unique straight line. That means no matter what linear polynomial you take, if you draw the graph of it, you will get a straight line. So today, in this webisode, webisode 5, we are going to focus on the geometrical meaning of the zero of the linear polynomial. So friends, let's dive in. Like we did the last time, we are going to do this in the context of some examples. So we'll take one or two examples, and then we are going to find out really what is the zero of a linear polynomial. So like the last time, so here we have polynomial. I have taken a polynomial x by 2 plus 3. I could have simply taken, so uh, I could have taken a polynomial which is like, you know, x plus 1 or maybe 2x plus 3. I just wanted to have a different type of a linear polynomial. They're all linear polynomials. As long as the degree of the polynomial is 1, it's a linear polynomial, right? So here I've taken x by 2 plus 3. And like we uh, saw the last time, we are going to assume that the value of the polynomial uh, at a value of a variable, that value of polynomial is represented by y. So y equals px, which is equals to x by 2 plus 3. Now, so first things first. First, we are going to draw ourselves a table, something like this, where we have two rows. The top row will be the values for x, and the bottom row will be the value for polynomial at that value of x. So we are going to say y equals px, but when x is some value, what is the value of the polynomial? for that value of x, so so on and so forth. Now, because we are talking about linear polynomial, we know that graphically it will be a straight line. We also know that to draw a straight line, we really need only two points. So if I know one point, and if I know the other point, I can draw a straight line. But in the last webisode, I urged you that you should take at least three points, right? The reason you should take at least three points is that you can surely draw the straight line with two points, but the third point that you will have, you will notice that the third point always falls on this straight line, which is a confirmation that your graphical representation is accurate. That is, the third point also falls on the same straight line that you have constructed using the other two points. So just for the fun of it, in this particular uh, webisode, I'm going to take maybe three, maybe even four points uh, maybe four or maybe five points, um, you know, just to uh, just to, uh, just to highlight that you will still get a straight line, and all the points, you know, will fall on the straight line that you will come up with. So our our polynomial is y equals x by two plus three. Now we will have to take random values of x, and for each one of them, we have to find out the value for y. Now. It is important, like I mentioned earlier as well, that the way we will pick the values of x, we want to make sure that the value of y is a whole number. We don't want to have y a fractional value or a, de or a, you know, a decimal uh, value. So in order for y to be a whole number, this term has to be a whole number because 3 is a whole number. If we have a whole number here, whole number plus a whole number will be another whole number. So our goal is to get x by 2, which is the first term, basically be equal to k, where k equals to, uh, k equals to 1, 2, 3, or minus 1, minus 2, uh, like that, right? So it should be a whole number. Now to do that, that means x needs to be equal to, so the 2 goes there, 2 times k. So the way we are going to pick the value of x is we are going to take multiples of 2, that is 2, 2 times k. So we can start with 
how about we take minus 4 so let's say x is minus 4 let's do that then we will take x equals minus 2 we will take x equals 0 we will take x equals 2 and I think we will probably also take x equals 4 right because we want to take the values of x which are multiples of 2 so when x equals minus 4 what is the value of the polynomial so let's see at minus 4 right this is minus 4 so the value will be you will have minus 4 by 2 minus 4 by 2 plus 3 or in other words so 2 2 is a 4 so you will have minus 2 plus 3 3 minus 2 is 1 so at minus 4 value of y or the value of polynomial is 1 similarly let's do it here if you take x equals minus 2 what you will get is so minus 2 divided by 2 plus 3 equal to so 2 and 2 will cancel out so you'll have 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so this value will be 2 similarly when you put x equals 0 this term will go away and this value will be 3 at x equals 2 so you will have 2 by 2 which will be 1 so 3 plus 1 4 and at x equals 4 you will get this value as 5 so we will start with minus 4 minus 2 then 0 then 2 and 4 and this is these are the values of the polynomial at each of these values for the variable so now let's try to draw this on a graph and like we always do whenever we try to draw them on a graph we are going to first draw the graph and see what we get right so if you look at so let's write the let's write the points here so we have minus 4 minus 2 0 2 and also 4 so for this we got we we got here um, I think for minus 4 uh, our polynomial was x by 2 plus 3 so the minus 4 gave us 1 minus 2 gave us 2 when it was 0 we got 3 then we got 4 then we got 5 now let's draw these points on the on the graph so here are the points so this is so this is our origin this is x axis x axis x x dash y y dash and we have so x minus 4 so 1 2 3 4 minus 4 minus 4 this is 1 right this is 1 so this point is minus 4 and 1 similarly at minus 2 this is 2 so this is minus 2 and 2 so for x 0 the y is 3 so this is the point where x is 0 and y is 3 x is plus 2 this is plus 2 on the right side of the origin we have uh, positive values of x so 2 this is 1 2 3 4 this is 2 and 4 and similarly here when x is 4 we get the y value is 5 now if we were to just simply connect them you will see that we will get a straight line like this right simply by joining them we will if you were to just join two of them and you will get a straight line like this and you will notice that all the other values all the points they fall on the same straight line right now if you see this particular value so this is where if you were to extend the line all the way then this is where the line intersects the x-axis now when we talk about zero of a linear polynomial in I think it was the it was two episodes ago we said a linear polynomial is written in the form of ax plus b this is a standard way to write a linear polynomial so px equals ax plus b 
to find the zero of this polynomial we equate this to zero right that means here x equals to so the b goes on the other side becomes minus b and then you divide both sides by a so this is how you get a zero of a polynomial so our polynomial was this so in order to find the zero of a polynomial if you equate this to zero then you will get x by 2 equals minus 3 or x equals you multiply both sides by 2 minus 3 times 2 is minus 6 so x equals minus 6 so if you have x equals minus 6 then the value of y will be 0 because y is nothing but px so at x equals minus 6 y is 0 so if you notice this point that is we drew the line using these four these five points one two three four five right so from minus four to four those were the points that we took to draw our line and we simply extended the line you know on both sides a little bit now the the point where this line cut the x-axis that is this this particular coordinate this is a special point that is the point where the line intersects the x-axis because at that point the the value of the line because remember line this this line what is this line this line is y equals px or this line is y equal to x by 2 plus 3. So the value of this line at this point where the line intersects x axis the value is 0. That means we know that when we looked at the uh, webisode where 0 of a linear polynomial we know that such a value of x for which the value of polynomial becomes 0 is called the 0. So here, this particular point reflects the zero of this polynomial x by 2 plus 3. Because at this point, the value of y is zero. From a, from a, from a uh, coordinate geometry standpoint, you know that here the value of y, which is x by 2 plus 3, the, the value is zero. That means this is the zero of this polynomial because the y value is zero. So what is the value of x? So we can just simply see from the graph, so minus two, so this is minus one, this is minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six. So this one actually, this point is minus six. So x is minus six here for which the y value is zero. Now, algebraically when we solve it, we also realize that the zero of this polynomial is x equals minus 6. And graphically what we see is that indeed this point which is minus 6 is where the, the straight line cuts the x-axis. So what we can conclude from this is that whenever we say zero of a polynomial what we really mean graphically is this so geometrically speaking geometrically speaking zero of a linear polynomial again we should basically talk about because we are we would not want to generalize this as of now we are focusing on linear polynomial so geometrically speaking zero of a linear polynomial is the x coordinate of the point where the graph px intersects x axis so when we solved it algebraically for the for the polynomial x by 2 plus 3 for this polynomial when we solved it algebraically we found out that the zero of this polynomial is x equal to minus 6 and when we looked at it graphically we also saw that at x equal to minus 6 the value of y was 0 and this is where 
this was the point where the line cut the x-axis. So, whenever we talk about zero of a linear polynomial, if you obviously you can always solve it geometrically like this. You can always solve it algebraically like this, right? And find out what is the zero of the polynomial. But you want to keep in mind that if you were to draw the graph of this linear polynomial, you will get a straight line. And wherever the straight line intersects the x-axis, the x-coordinate of that point, wherever the that line is intersecting the x-axis, the x-coordinate is going to be the zero of the polynomial. In other words, even if you have not drawn the line, right? If you have solved it algebraically like this, even if you have not drawn the line, you know that whatever the straight line will be for this polynomial, that straight line will intersect x-axis at this point, minus 6, 0. So this is very, very important, friends, to understand that what is the meaning of 0 of a polynomial in geometrical terms.